Hi all, welcome to Think Institute of Design. I think everyone is aware about the upcoming design exams. You see NID notifications is already came and I think Nifty is there to come. If anyone have any queries regarding these exams, where this exam is happening or how this exam. So you can find our number here and you can feel free to contact them. Okay, we are very glad to address your queries. So today we will be giving a little bit focus on UCID. So we can discuss one question from UCID question paper. Not a question, just a topic. So the topic is like mirror image. Mirror image is not the only topic which is coming in that exam. There are plenty of topics like area, area perimeter questions, like figure series questions, number series questions. A plenty of type of questions are there. In between them, very important type is the mirror image questions. So there are a little uh, certain rules or uh, tricks for solving mirror image questions. The first one is like uh, there will be no distortion in mirror image. Now distortion means if you mark a one here and uh, if you take the reflection, it may not be like two. One will be reflected like one. If my reflection has been taken, it may not be like you. Okay, unless you are my identical twin. So that is what mirror image we are discussing under like the topic distortion okay so distortion is like that similarly one more time or one more trick is there lateral inversion very famous in mirror image you may be aware from your sixth standard onwards like why the name of ambulance has been written in a different manner it's been in your textbook like for finding it through the rear view mirror when a vehicle in front and when through their rear view mirror we need to read it like ambulance that is why it is written in a such a weird form like that. So that rule from uh, when you use a mirror on the right side or the left side, the things on the left side will move to right and on the right side will come to left. This is called lateral inversion. And uh, third one is there will be no top to bottom changes. Things at the top will be remain at the top. That means a mirror on my right side and uh, if my head is like this, it will not go to bottom. Okay, it will always in the top. But my left and right changes will be there that we had discussed that inversion. And now comes to the final technique that is things nearer will be reflected nearer and the farther will be reflected farther. That means things which are very close to the mirror will be reflected close to the mirror and which are at a particular distance will be reflected taking account of that much distance. So that is what we are going to exploit today through the questions. So I think you can find one question over here. So you can uh, just try to solve this question. You can pause your video and try to solve this. So here you can find the heptagon and uh, there is a mirror. So you need to identify what will be the reflected image which is coming on the final heptagon. So as I mentioned earlier, nearer will reflect nearer farther will reflect farther. So there is a technique. Okay, actually there is a technique for solving this question. We don't need any kind of mirror image shortcuts or techniques or formulas or rules. Just a common sense. Take like this one towards the left. This is the first point. You can find that triangle piece. Just move to the other mirror like uh, other heptagon over here. On the heptagon you can find it on the first spot because as I mentioned earlier nearer reflects nearer farther reflects farther now coming over to here the second mirror is being over here and you can find like first position second position and this is third position with respect to the new mirror now you can take it like on the next one like first one second one and third one towards the left towards the right. Those things on the left comes to the right. That is the only difference happening here. Lateral inversion also need to take into account. So the reflection will be somewhere over here. Okay. The reflection will be somewhere over here and you can find this in option A. You can find in option A. So we just discussed one sample question. Okay. Now we can get into an actual usage question which had happened in the previous years. So now you can see the big picture. We just see a sample later. And I had given you the technique. 
Now you can feel free to pause your screen and you can give your answer. Okay, good. So as like the previous question, there is not much difference in this figure and the technique. Okay, so over here, it is on the first position on the left. We will move to the first position on the right. Now the second mirror towards the left, it is on the third position towards the right. Also, it should be on the third position. First, second, third. So I just placed it here. And now the mirror comes here. It is on the left first position. You can find the first position towards the right also. It should be on the first position. So this is the first position on the right. So I just placed the object here. So new mirror comes here and it is reflected in the zeroth position. Okay. So it is reflected on the zeroth position itself. Now once again one more mirror comes towards the left. One two towards the right one two left right simply counting will give you the answer so just place it over here now the final one and uh, here comes our answer this is the first position from the left and this is the second position from the left with respect to that mirror now comes to the final one first position second position and it need to come over here so you can find exactly here in option A. This concept was asked in uh, 2017, you said I think or 2017 or 2018, the question has been asked and it has been repeated. Not exactly same, but in a different manner like this, it once again came. And I think we could wind up over here this video, but before that, we are continuing this video series with uh, uh, new new topics in the upcoming days so you can find all these videos over here in this channel for that you just need to subscribe and uh, as a support you need to like our videos and uh, you can use the bell button for the upcoming notifications and uh, these questions or uh, these things we will be discussing in our offline as well as online classes and you can find our uh, regular repeaters patches and uh, weekend batches and crash badges both in online as well as offline modes for better understanding of these topics for those things also you can find the number below you can feel free to chat to us or you can directly call us regarding any queries regarding our batches as well as these design exams so thank you all we can meet again in the next class with an another topic and another set of questions bye all have a great day